Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullah So one of the uh, viewers has asked me to do a little video on how uh, we bag up the Bangla huddles to try and get them to heat up when the weather's not um, playing in our favour Basically what we do is we just to, I mean I like using these bags and these have been used quite a few times and with these you just rip off the corner so the water drips out and here's a little one that, here, here's a little um, baby khudu that I'm going to bag up, just take it and with these because of the, because of the press lock, the zip lock type thing, you can just fasten it around there. Now it can be this, it can be uh, any sort of plastic bag that'll help it, that keeps that heat inside, that'll make it mature. I'll show you the Bangla Hodu that uh, I featured uh, in a video when I picked the last Hodus. Um, and this is one, this is the one that you you saw when it was as small as the one that I just showed you. Here it is, it's almost, give it a couple more weeks and that'll, that'll be ready to come off. Now this is just a recycled plastic bag, that would have, um, I mean, I don't know what arrived in that, but that would have just got ended up in the bin, so we can just use those bags again, and same with this, again, we've got another one tied up there, just try and keep, what you need to do is try and keep the bag loose so it doesn't stick to the hodu, because if it sticks to the uh, hodu, the gourd, it'll, it, it'll make it rot, the moisture will get to it and it'll rot, so I'll show you some more. Would you, I mean, especially if you've got long, long gourds, bread bags are brilliant for it. And I'll show you how we do it. One that's completely dead, we'll take that off. I mean, we cook, we're looking for, like, we might have a warmish September. And if we get a warmish September, then hopefully get a few more, a few more of these right before it's time. I mean, every day come in and check the moisture levels of these. Because if you, if they pull up with water, then they're going to rot. So, there's one. It, just come and make sure the bag's not touching the uh, the huddle itself, and that will hopefully take it get us there. I'll show you some more young ones. That... So you just keep it loose. That one's definitely going to make it. Uh, we've got a few more young ones down here. There's a few more young ones that have been tied there, and that's in quite a big bag. Um, so. We've got the mo we've got the water pulling up, so let's get that wa water out and keep that water away from the huddles. I'm not sure if they'll make it. That's going to be a hit and that's going to be a, uh, a wait and see one for that one. And here's what I mean by using the bread bag. Bread bags are ideal for this kind of thing because they're nice and long. The huddle just goes inside. Any of these plastic, they don't have to be see through. You don't need a see-through bag, so one's just in there, it's tied on. But I'm just going to definitely make it, take these off. Anytime you get these dead ones, just keep picking them off. Even now, it's not too late to try and get these, these to mature. So anything that's yellowing or yellowed, get them off. Um, just leave them on the ground, they'll rot. If you've got chickens, feed them for the chickens. But here, here's one that's... that's we've tied up and that's just a, a bag that groceries come in so there's two tied in there that one's definitely making it that's looking quite healthy that that'll be quite nice because that's the only dinosaur gourd that i've got and again another one with a bread bag up here so let's see i'll we'll put that down there so the bread bag's hanging down and it gives it its space what I'm going to do now as well is I'll pick my, my one Bangla Hodu that's ready to pick right now. So if you come with me, I'll pick that. So there's one that's ready to pick. And do you want to pick this? What? Come on, what have a look? Higher, 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 higher. There. Good lad. Go on, give it a big squeeze. Bismillah. Big squeeze. Bismillah. Bismillah. Big squeeze. I can't. You can. I can't. Yeah. When I do big squeezes, it hurts my arm. That's it, I heard the crunch there. There you go, Bismillah, mashallah. Well done, good lad. So
So that's a, that's a decent sized huddle. Looks very nice. So Tia, do you want to take that inside? Oh, he's in the pond. Get him out, Tia, get him out of the pond. We've got a couple more tied up there, but I don't think they're going to make it. Yeah, it's starting to yellow, so I don't think they'll make it. I think off this plant, that's the last that we've had. So, um, but we'll leave the plant going and we'll see what happens. It's not bad. I mean, if we could have got one huddle per plant, I would have been happy. And there's another one being saved for seed. And if we can save the other two, then that's four or five. It's okay. So, yeah, that's a quick one on how we bag the huddles and how we try and preserve the heat inside them to get them to mature. We'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Uh -huh.